closer look at the Banco de Oro Unibank Inc. as a universal bank in the Philippines. Proponents Graho Jaya, Harapan Mabel Joy, Lagson Rose and May, Manumbas Gabriel Maxim, Marino Christine, and Olivero Sairin. Objectives At the end of the presentation, you should be able to examine the background and history of Banco de Oro Unibank Inc., identify the related businesses and its current bank board of directors, differentiate its products and services, identify its role and contributions to the Philippine financial system. Hi everyone, my name is Christine Marino and I am here to discuss about BDO, its company's background, and firm's history. A closer look at the Banco de Oro Unibank Incorporation as a universal bank in the Philippines. What is BDO? BDO Unibank Incorporation, commonly known as Banco de Oro, is a Philippine banking company based in Makati. In terms of total assets, the firm is the largest bank in the Philippines and 15th largest in Southeast Asia as of March 31, 2016. BDO Unibank is also a member of SM Group. BDO is a leading financial institution that offers a range of innovative products and services to meet the needs of different businesses. To help other companies experience the same success that we continue to enjoy, BDO provides professional and reliable advisory services. Company Background BDO is a full-service universal bank in the Philippines. It provides a complete array of industry-leading products and services including lending, deposit-taking, foreign exchange, brokering, cash management, and remittances in the Philippines. Through its local subsidiaries, the bank offers investment banking, private banking, leasing and finance, rural, rural banking, life insurance, insurance brokerage and online and non-online brokerage services. BDO's institutional strength and value-added products and services hold the key to its successful business relationship with customers. On the front line, its branches remain as the forefront of setting high standards as a sales and service-oriented, customer-focused course. The bank has the largest deep distribution network with over 1,500 operating branches and offices and more than 4,400 ATMs nationwide. PDO has 16 international offices including full services branches in Hong Kong and Singapore, spread across Asia, Europe, North America, and the Middle East. The bank also offers digital banking solutions to make banking easier, faster, and more secure for its clients. Through selective acquisitions and organic growth, BDO has positioned itself for increased balance sheet strength and continuing expansion to into new markets. As of September 30, 2021, BDO is the country's largest bank in terms of conciliated resources, customer loans, deposits, assets under management and capital, as well as branch and ATM networks nationwide. BDO is a member of the SM Group, one of the country's largest and most successful conglomerates with businesses spanning retail, mall operations, property development, residential, commercial, resorts, hotel, and financial services. Although part of a conglomerate, BDO's day-to-day -day operations are handled by the term of the professional managers and bank officers. Further, BDO has one of the industry's strongest board of directors, composed of professionals with extensive experience in various fields that include banking and finance, accounting, law, and business. Firm History BDO Unibank was established on January 2, 1968 as Acme Savings Bank. 
a thrift bank with just two branches in Metro Manila, in November 1976, ACME was acquired by the SM Group, the group of companies owned by retail mag magnate Henry C. and renamed Banco de Oro Savings and Mortgage Bank. In December 1994, BDO became a commercial bank and was renamed Banco de Oro. Commercial Bank In September 1996, BDO became a universal bank, which led to the bank's name being changed to the current Banco de Oro Universal Bank. Hi, my name is Cyril Oliveros from Manila Business College and I will discuss the continuation of firm history, the company's subsidiaries, mission, and core values. BDO Unibank Incorporated eventually became involved in insurance services in 1997 by establishing a subsidiary called BDO Insurance Brokers. In 1999, BDO Unibank expanded its insurance services through partnerships with Zamora Assurance and Azicorazoni Generally, one of the world's largest insurance firms, and Jerna Asia Berhad, a member of Malaysia's Kubok Group. BDO Unibank Incorporated partnered up with its insurance affiliates, which are generally Filipinas Life Assurance Company, and generally Filipinas Insurance Company in March 2000. BDO listed its shares on the Philippine Stock Exchange on May 21, 2002. The company merged with Equitable PCI Bank in May 2007. As of 2020, BDO has the largest distribution network with over 1,400 operating branches and more than 4,480 ATMs nationwide. It is also currently the country's largest bank in terms of consolidating resources, customer loans, deposits, assets under management and capital, as well as branch and ATM network nationwide. As of March 31, 2021, there were about 618 branches of BDO across the Metro Manila area in the Philippines. Meanwhile, 501 branches were located in the island of Luzon. As of December 31, 2020, BDO has the 1,470 operation domestic branches, 4,439 automated tellers machines, 599 cash deposit machines, and 5 self-service teller machines. The company's subsidiaries include BDO Capital and Investment Corporation, BDO Private Bank Incorporated, BDO Leasing and Finance Incorporated, BDO Finance Corporation, and BDO Securities Corporation. Mission Our mission, our purpose is to help clients with their financial objectives. Our goal is to be the best in what we do as individuals and as a firm. Our idea should be innovative yet appropriate for our clients' needs. To be the prepared bank in every market we serve by consistently providing innovative products and flawless delivery of services, proactively reinventing ourselves to meet market demands, creating shareholders, value through superior returns, cultivating in our people a sense of a pride and ownership, and striving to be always better than what we are today, tomorrow. Core Values Commitment to Customers We are committed to deliver products and services that surpass customer expectation in value and every aspect of customer services while remaining to be the prudent and trustworthy stewards of their wealth. Commitment to a dynamic and efficient organization We are committed to creating an organization that is flexible, responds to change, and encourages innovation and creativity. We are committed to the process of continuous improvement in everything we do. Commitment to employees We are committed to our employees' growth and development and we will nurture them in an environment where excellence, integrity, teamwork, professionalism, and performance are valued above all else. Commitment to shareholders We are committed to provide our shareholders with superior returns over a long term. Hi everyone!
everyone, I'm Jaya Graho and I will discuss about related businesses and bank fraud of directors. Business profile, retail has the largest local retail chain. Malls develop, develop dominant domestic malls, has 46 malls with GFA of 5.6 mm squared. Financial services has the biggest domestic banking operator operations. Property developed leading residential condo, condominiums. Hotels and convention among the fastest growing commercial developers in the Philippines. Access to SM customer network. Number one, 13,960 tenants. Uh, second one, 5,000 suppliers. The third one, 3.5 million average Average daily food traffic, the fourth one in house businesses, and the last home mortgage financial for SM property project. New business opportunity, goodwill from the SM franchise, joint product development, SM expertise, middle market knowledge, expertise in retail market and real estate, branch locations, branches, ATMs in SM. More. I like the percentage you are the board of directors of BDO Unibank Inc. But before that, I like to quickly introduce myself. My name is Mabel J. P. Harapan. Mr. Villanueva Tan is the president and CEO of BDO Unibank Inc. He was elected to the board of directors on June 27, 1998. He concurrently holds the chairmanship of the following BDO Unibank subsidiaries. Namely, BDO Strategic Holdings Inc. and BDO Network Bank Inc. Concurrently, he has vice chairmanship and or directorship in the following subsidiaries of BDO Unibank Inc. Namely, BDO Leasing and Finance Inc., BDO Finance Corporation, BDO Capital and Investment Corporation, BDO Insurance Brokers Inc., BDO Life Assurance Company Inc., BDO Private Bank Inc. and SM Land Inc. He is also a trustee of BDO Foundation Inc. and chairman of the De La Salle University Board of Trustees. He is also the chairman of BankNet, the operator of the electronic payment system, Pay and the ATM switching utility for Peloton Bank. He previously served as president and director of the Bankers Association of the Philippines. In addition to being the previous chairman and director of Philippine Balance System Holdings Corporation, prior to joining BDO Unibank, Mr. Tan was Chief Operating Officer of the Financial Institution Services Group of PCW, the investment banking subsidiary of the Barclays Group. His banking career spans nearly four decades and includes post and global financial institutions. Tan graduated from De La Salle University with a bachelor's degree in commerce and obtained his master's in business administration from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. In 2015, Tan won the Best Executive in the Philippines Award from Asia Money. Other citations received includes Asia's Best CEO Award from Corporate Governance Asia. Next is Jesus E. Jacinto Jr., a Vice Chairman and Executive Director of PDO Unibank Inc. Jesus E. Jacinto Jr. is a Philippine business person who has been at the head of seven different companies and was elected to the Board of Directors of BDO Unibank Inc. on May 25, 1996 and has been Vice Chairman of the Board. He is concurrently the Chairman and President of BDO Insurance Brokers Inc. He holds the position of Chairman and President at BDO Insurance Brokerage Inc. Chairman and President of Jazzy's Corporation and Janel Realty Inc. Also a President of Judge Holdings. He was formerly a director and executive vice president of City Trust Banking Corporation, director of City Trust Investment Philippines, and City Trust Finance Corporation, and vice president, and also 
a managing partner of Citibank NP. He holds a bachelor's degree in business administration from Fordham University, a master in business administration and international business from Columbia University, New York City. Following are the board of directors of BDO. Teresita T. Say, Jescoro I. Ramos, Christopher A. Bell Knight, Jones M. Castro Jr., Josepina M. Tan, George T. Barcelan, Jose F. Vina Ventura, Vicente S. Perez Jr., and by Paul Bagat. Hello, I'm Rose and Neil Exxon, and we are going to talk about the product and services of BDO Unibank Finance. BDO find ways to satisfy BDO merchants be providing strict payment, it is over the counter of face-to-face -face transactions, installment payment plan, it is a regular 0% or buy now pay Card holders can now have the flexibility to convert a regular purchase in stock payment Consumers' lifestyles and shopping habits have been rapidly changing. Banks and stock have to acknowledge this by working together to provide increased spending power and flexible payment options. The installment facility traditionally used only for purchase of big ticket items such as appliances, furniture, gadgets, etc. has involved. Clothing and other basic necessities are now also offered on installment to become more affordable to the available to all PTO card holders, the largest card base in the country. This program will not just boost their store sales but likewise benefit from the market they want to serve. Delivery or event, it is used as remote wireless terminals ideal for the delivery service and event and exhibits. Refers to video facility of card acceptance using the point of sale wireless technology which will be installed at their site to be used for delivery shows without the need of telephone access. E-commerce, which is internet online transactions, the video internet payment gateway facilities provide a standard internet connection for your company to securely and reliably send and receive payment authorizations, allowing your customer to purchase goods and services from your internet site. Mail order or telephone order, it is a card holder not present transactions, this facility allows your company the privilege of accepting transactions that are called in mail or fax by your customers. As such, your company will be able to accommodate transactions without the presence of the card holders at your establishment. The last one is the recurring payment system. It is a merchant with continuous billing transaction like insurance premiums, subscription payment, and club membership. The recurring payment system facility is used frequently by companies for auto debit arrangement with clients. This payment facility allows the company to process transactions with which are recurring in nature such as periodic fees, charge. For additional information, BDO provides acquired merchants the following services, point of sale terminal installation, card acceptance and POS terminal usage orientation, supplies, terminal maintenance, servicing and repair, merchant services call center with PLDT and digital toll-free number, merchant online access transaction reports for payment reconciliation available via web, account officer and relationship manager that monitor merchants need. Good day, I'm Gabrielle Maxine Manumbas and I'm going to discuss the contributions of BDO to the Philippine financial system. Here are the key questions. What are the significant contributions of BDO Unibank to the Philippine financial system? What will happen if BDO does not exist or cease to perform its functions? And lastly, what difference BDO made to its community and the public? The Significant Contributions of BDO Unibank Inc. in the Philippines Financial System BDO provides a complete array of industry-leading products and services to the retail and corporate market, including lending, deposit-taking, foreign exchange, brokering, trust and investments, credit cards, 
corporate cash management and remittances. BDO provides financial aid to the government and the private sector. In October 2021, as part of its continuing pandemic response, the BDO Foundation joined forces with other corporate foundations, non-governmental organizations, and government agencies to support the private sector initiative that aims to provide financial assistance for nurses. BDO provided us with the financial support we needed for additional working capital and fixed asset acquisitions. There is something known as a working capital loan that is used to fund the day-to-day -day needs of your company. This includes short-term loan, credit line, post-dated check discounting, inventory financing with trust receipt, and letters of credit with trust receipt. BDO Unibank also offers digital banking solutions to make banking easier, faster, and more secure for its clients. Through selective acquisitions and organic growth, BDO has positioned itself for increased balance sheet strength and continuing expansion into new markets. If BDO does not exist or cease to perform its function, forefront of the Philippine trust industry will vanish. BDO Unibank is the largest Unibank in the Philippines and it holds an important position in the country's industry. BDO providing financial aid to the government and the private sector would be impossible because BDO won't have the capability to do so. BDO Unibank established the BDO Foundation Inc. as its corporate social responsibility arm and channel for its internal and external outreach program. It aims to respond to the needs of the marginalized sector of society for decent shelter, sustainable livelihood, and practical education. BDO Unibank launched the BDO Volunteer Program in a move to integrate its corporate social responsibility programs in the bank's business. It launched the BDO Volunteer Program generating over 600 employee sign-ups in its maiden year. The program, which is aligned to BDO's mission and core values, aims to develop volunteerism as a BDO lifestyle. Objectives of BDO Foundation Inc. Aims to respond to the needs of the society. Aims to build the social infrastructure for the informal settlers.